Right, in this theory tutorial, we're going to take a look at the grade 2 TCL theory. And uh, the topic is writing your own tunes to a given rhythm. Now, um, the question that they ask is, uh, the first question in the book is, write a tune using notes of the tonic triad in any register to the given rhythm. Use a key signature and finish on the tonic. Right, and then what they do is they give you the key. So, for example, they'll give you something like this. I'll give you a line where the rhythm is written on. And then they give you the key, which is, we take a look at the first one, C major. And then they give you the key signature as well, 3-4 in this case. And then they give you a short two-bar rhythm to use as the rhythm for your melody. A dotted crotchet, a quaver, another crotchet, and then they give you a minim, and then a dotted crotchet as well. Right, then what you need to now do is you need to go and write a rhythm. You may only use, you may only use the um, notes from the tonic triad in the first question and you have to end on the tonic okay so the notes of the tonic triad for c major is c e and g and the tonic of course is c tonic meaning first notes right so now now we're just going to go and write it. Now we just write, okay, um, this one I see is also for the right hand. Remember to write in your key signature, your time signature, and then of course your key signature is C major, so there's no sharps or accidentals in front. And now we just go and write it. Choose any register, I'm going to choose middle C, and I'm going to write my first note middle C and then I'm going to jump to the fifth note which is G for my next one and then I'm going to jump to E and then I'm going to jump again to G and then I'm going to end on the tonic which is C. Now you can end on middle C, but I like to end on C at the top just to give the melody a little bit more of a interesting feel and remember to close your bar. <clears throat> so this one, if we sing it, it's going to go C, G, E, G, C. So that is how we do the rhythms. For something a little bit more complex, uh, let's say write, question 2 asks to write a tune using the first 5 degrees of a scale in any register to the given rhythm, then also use a key signature and finish on the tonic. Now I'm going to use the, uh, the example that they have there, not the example but the second question. Um, again they have their line and then they have, uh, they give you the uh, the, the, the key that you need to work in F major and then they give you the time signature which is this two minims per bar and then they give you the two bar ribbon to use in this case it is going to be minim followed by two crotchets followed by four quavers Beam together, and then they have a minimum to end off the rhythm. Now, remember the first five degrees. In this, in this case, we're going to use the first five degrees of the scale given, and in this case, it's, it can be F, G, A, B flat, or C. Remember F sharp. Uh, if major, sorry, if major has a B flat, and then we need to again end on the tonic, 
which in this case is f. Right, so now what we need to do first is we need to write our uh, cliff sign. In this case, they have given us the cliff sign, which is the base cliff. We need to write our time signature. And then we need to add the key signature. They say use key signatures. So in this case, it's going to be the flats in front. Now we don't need to worry about the flats. Right, and now we are going to write our rhythm. Okay, so let's start on the tonic. It's good to start on the tonic. Let's start on F. There. And then I'm going to do F. And then I'm going to do E. F. And then I'm going to do F, E, D, C, and I'm going to end on F again. Remember to try and write your notes as neatly as possible. Use a ruler where you can. Um, a composer always writes neat, neatly. So there is my rhythm in F major <clears throat> and this one is going to go something like this F E F F E D C F and that is how we write a short melody the last question in the book says look at the tunes you have written and add some musical words and symbols that you know also see page 48 for those for grade 2 now I'm going to quickly turn to page 48 in the grade 2 book and uh, there you'll have all your musical words and symbols for, um, uh, for grade 2. It's articulation marks like phrasing marks, tenuto, cantabile, espressivo, grazioso, molto and then we have um, the 8 octave, uh, ottava above and ottava below, 8 ABA and 8 VB and then the tempo mark, tempo mark such as adagio, allegretto uh, Malzell's metronome, uh, a pause mark, uh, vivace, as well as repeat signs. Now, for my first melody, I'm going to say, okay, this needs to be andante at a walk walking pace, and we are going to play this, let's say, mezzo forte, and then at the end, let's say I'm feeling a bit um, uh, uh, slow today, I'm going to add a pause mark. And there we go. There we have a nice melody with um, markings as well. For my second melody, I can say, okay, well, I've got a nice, I've got a nice flowing uh, uh, quaver line there in bar 2 so let's make this a little bit faster let's say allegro and then uh, we do forte this time let's do forte okay and then I'm going to say all right let's start with a nice accent on the first note on the first F and then these notes here I would like to have staccato going down and then uh, at the end we end normally and uh, we can say let's do a decrescendo and we end on piano and there we have it a nice melody rounded off with some nice articulation phrasing and dynamic marks we can even add phrasing marks why not why not add a phrase line there Remember, the key here is to be creative. Um, uh, be creative by staying within the first five degrees or uh, as the first question says, the tonic triad notes and then remember to end on the tonic, which is F in this case.